and we check in with Steve Gelb. Steve? Gary, one of the great traditions of summer just a few weeks away, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest at Coney Island, and the champion, the reigning champ, Matt Stoney, is joining us right now. He ate 62 hot dogs last year to unseat Joey Chestnut, eight-time Nathan's world champion. Um, Matt, when I eat three hot dogs, I, I think that's way too much. How do you train for an event and train your body, and you're only 130 pounds, which is kind of disconcerting a little bit, but how do you train your body to consume that many hot dogs in 10 minutes? You know, Nathan makes a delicious hot dog, and the event, for those of you who have seen it on the 4th of July, is a, it's an insane event. The adrenaline is pumping, and um, it's hard to prepare for it particularly, but, you know, we eat hot dogs. I love hot dogs. I cook them up at home all the time, eat them, and, uh, you know, two weeks in a contest, that's what I'll be doing for the next two weeks. I barred a third after that uh, Malik Smith fly out to center field. How do you determine, okay, this is something I want to try? How do you know I can become a competitive eater and eat that amount of food? You know, it started, it was, um, it was my first year of college. There was a, I was working a summer job in an arcade, you know, seven bucks an hour minimum wage. And uh, there was a lobster roll eating contest across the street. I was actually up in Boston. And um, I remember looking, I won $1,000 for that contest, 10 minutes. I was looking at my paycheck, $1,000, was like, I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong business. I got to start competitively eating. So uh, it just snowballed from there. All right, well, we appreciate the time, Matt. Uh, before we let you go here as... NC Art Day singles in the run, so it'll be one nothing Braves. But before we let you go, how many are you going to eat today when you're just messing around watching the game? And the real serious question is, uh, when you're not eating competitively, ketchup or mustard on the hot dog? It's all about the mustard. I like both, honestly, but if I had to choose one, it's mustard. All right, and how many today? I could probably, I'll put back three. Three's a good number. All right, three's a good number. Thanks so much for the time. He is another mustard guy, Gary and Ron. Yes, I noticed, uh, Steve, that he said mustard. <laughs> you did notice that, right? 